Hello guys, we are back with our next unit. In this unit, we will be going through the file system management. So how files are allocated or how files are stored and everything we will be covering in this chapter guys. Okay, this is the third unit of operating system guys. Okay, so let us start. So in this tutorial, let us go through the basic definition of files guys. That's it. That's what I want to just discuss with you. Okay, so basically what is a file guys? So whenever you, if you have a system or whenever you go to your labs, you'll be creating different folders, you'll be writing, you'll be creating files, you'll be writing your programs and you'll do many things, stuff, many stuff, right? So basically a file is a collection of related information defined by the creator. The creator is nothing but you guys. You guys will be typing, right? The programs, the things, those are nothing but the files. In general, a file is a sequence of bits, bytes, lines or records. Fine. A system, a, sorry, a file is the smallest identity of a system. So basically, if there is a huge system of files and everything of data, so in that a small file is the identity, a small identity, the smallest in a chemistry, you will be saying the atom is the smallest, right? So in that in computers, the files are the smallest things guys, fine. A file is named as the collection of related information. Remember always, whenever you are storing something, you'll be storing related information, right? Or else you'll be storing, storing some random stuff in every file. Now, basically, we'll be storing the related information with respect to your your things. So basically, the different types of files which we use are text files, source files in programming, object files when you compile programs. Fine. So I hope everyone got a small basic introduction about files. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through file attributes. Thank you. Thanks for watching.